Hello and welcome to a short presentation video about my video to scope converter circuit. Here you can see this is the video to scope converter circuit that I have built and it is based on an LM1881. Uh, uh, the other uh, ICs and, and components are standard components so it is easy to build uh, for you if you want to build it. So this is the circuit and now I explain you how uh, I have built this circuit. Here you can see the circuit uh, itself. Uh, at first the uh, importance component is the LM1881. This is a video sync separator integrated circuit. This is for separating the video synch synchronization signal into a horizontal and a vertical synchronization signal. Uh, so you have to put in the video here on pin 2 with a decoupling capacitor you can see. Here I go a bit nearer to the camera that you can see it better. Uh, here we have the incoupling capacitor. Here you have to connect it to ground and this to VCC. And this is the reset pin that, you, uh, that I have connected with a 470k uh, to ground and 5.6 nanofarad. So it is working fine with this mode. Uh, so here we got uh, the horizontal sync signal and here the vertical sync signal out. And if I go here to the next, here I use a NE555. This circuit is an, a standard application circuit from the data sheet of an NE555. And this is just a, a circuit for generating ramps. So if uh, a pulse comes in here, it is generating a ramp on this output. So I have calculated this uh, capacitor and this resistor uh, for a right value to get a good displayed picture on the scope. And here I am connecting the X input of my scope. So you have to put your scope in X, Y mode and uh, on this connector I am connecting the X connector. Here with the other signal I am connecting the Y connector. The sig uh, the, this circuit is really similar. But uh, the only difference is this capacitor. This is a 1 microfarad capacitor and this is a 12 nanofarad capacitor. And if I go back here, uh, I also take the video signal in this inverting amplifier. This inverting amplifier goes to the Z input of your scope. Uh, many analog scopes have this input. This is an input for adjusting the intensity uh, and with this input you can uh, adjust the density of your electron beam. Uh, if it is uh, on 5 volts it is absolutely dark and if it is on 0 volt it, is, uh, the max it has the maximum brightness. So I have to invert the video signal with this circuit. I am also amplifying the video signal. Um, and here I can adjust the amplification. So with this uh, pot I can adjust the contrast of my video signal. And here at the end I am doing a short offset for setting off the video signal a bit higher. So with this I can adjust the intensity. So here I have my intensity adjusting pot and here my contrast adjusting, uh, adjusting pot. Uh, this circuit has an amplification of about 4 or yes about 4 uh, and inverting amplification. This is high enough for uh, the circuit that I have built. Uh, it should work with these components. Uh, I think um, I have tested it with my scope and uh, with another uh, scope of mine and now I am showing you how it looks like on the oscilloscope. So uh, here you can see now my oscilloscope. Uh, on the first channel I have connected the Z, uh, X input uh, or X output of my circuit and on the second channel I have connected the uh, epsilon output of my circuit. Um, here you can see it is generating the ramps upwards, you can see here, so this is working really good. And on the other channel it is also generating ramps, but a bit slower, you can see here. Yes, so this ramps here is, um, these ramps are for the vertical and these ramps for the horizontal sweep, yes. So you have to connect this to the X input and this to the Y. And now we need a, a, a third input which is this here. This is the Z input that I have also connected to my circuit. And in, with the Z input 
uh, you can control the intensity of your scope. Uh, in my case, for example, I have to go to setup um, and then to mesh linear and then to set input. And you can see here I can switch the set input on and off. So maybe if you have a scope uh, and it is not working, your set input is switched off. This can be the reason why it is not working. So you have to turn it on. Okay, now we go back. And now I am connecting the set input. And you can see here something has changed. Now you can see here the intensity of this beam has changed. And uh, it is now working. Now I am going to XY mode. And adjusting it here a bit. Um, putting this here to the middle and this here a bit up. And a bit more in this direction and with variable so you have to adjust a bit around with your adjustment bots of your scope and uh, if your scope uh, can display readings like mine switch the readings off so if you are switching the readings off uh, it the, the picture is becoming better and now you can see it is working you can see here uh, it is not a, a bad picture quality it is working really good uh, I've connected a camera, this camera here uh, to my scope and you can see here if I move the camera around you can see a video picture on my scope. Here you can see my workbench, this is my scope, this is my another Tektronix scope and um, this this is a new scope that I have poked. Uh, maybe I'm doing a review video of this uh, a bit later. This is a digital analog uh, Tektronix scope here you can see the scope in the scope yes infinity picture you can see my function generator and here you can see the circuit that I have built yes um, as you can see I'm using this video camera this is uh, not really expensive this is an ob observing video camera but it is it is working yes so you can see a really easy circuit to build and and I really like it. So, so you, if you don't have a, tele, a television, you can use the circuit as a television. And um, now I'm trying it uh, on my another Tektronix scope. Uh, if it is uh, as good as on this scope, here you can see it on my Tektronix scope. I'm doing a review video later, as I've said it before. So uh, this is not a review now. This is just. A test if it is working in analog mode really important it, it is absolutely not working with a digital scope that is important a digital scope is not fast enough to can display this and the most of the digital scope don't have a set input this scope has a set input on the back so many scopes has a set input on the back so okay I also turn off the readings now that the picture becomes better and I go into the XY mode. So you can see here, adjusting this a bit, putting this down, putting this up, and yes, here. Mm -hmm. Okay, this couple. Yes, perfect. It is also perfectly working on my Tektronix oscilloscope, so I also can use my Tektronix scope as a video camera, uh, as, a, as a television. You can see here, here you see the scope on the scope. It is it's working really good. Maybe better than the Harmac, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how this looks like on camera. I hope you can see it really good. And um, mm, it, 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 now it is in analog mode. Uh, for example, uh, if I putting this down and now go into digital mode, so here you can see this is how this looks like on a digital storage oscilloscope. So you really need an analog scope to do that. It is absolutely not working on a digital scope. Yes, can't forget it.
Um, so I go back into the analog mode. And here you can see it is working beautiful. So that's it for my scope on. Uh, so this is for my scope to television converter video. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and I can say thanks for watching.